well, if it's possible for an atom to have different number of neutrons, then what about electrons? Well, it is possible. But once an atom get an extra electron or lose one, the net charge is not zero anymore, so it's not neutral. So we cannot call it atom anymore. Well, we call it ion. From Greek word, ion meaning going. So electron going in or out of an atom. And so ion is defined as electrically charged particle due to the loss or gain of one or more electrons. So let us make our hydrogen atom to lose its electron. We take it away. What we are left with is a proton, positively charged particle. So what we got is positively charged ion or hydrogen. And when you see plus sign next to the in the upper right upper right of hydrogen symbol, you know that it is positively charged hydrogen. And they even got a name for, in general, for positively charged ions. They call it cation. And it's from Greek word kato, meaning down. So you take one electron down and is defined as an ion with fewer electrons than protons, so positively charged ion. Well, let us return our stolen electron back to our hydrogen. Now it's atom again, and let us continue the experiment. Let us, let us make hydrogen atom to gain an electron. Well, now we got one extra, so it's not neutral again, but now we got negatively charged ion of hydrogen. And similar way when you see minus sign, you know that it's negatively charged ion of hydrogen. And again, they got a separate word for negatively charged ions, anions. And it's from Greek word ania, meaning up. So you put up extra electron and it's defined as an ion with more electrons than protons. So negatively charged ion. So alrighty, we got anion and cation. And for whatever reason, I never can remember which one is which. So while I hate mnemonics, but for these ones, I had to come up with uh, ones. So for cation, because there is word cat in it, and usually when people think about cats, they are smiling, so positive emotion. That's how I remember that cation is positively charged ion similar way with anion because the spelling is kind of close to onion was why pronunciation is different when people cut onions they are crying so it's negative emotion so that's how i remember that anion is a negatively charged ion all right so we got ion and positively and negatively charged ions, which got its own name. Cation, positively charged, anion, negatively charged. Well, and it looks like we basically covered basic words you cannot survive chemistry uh, without. We know what element is, we got atom, we covered proton, neutron, electrons, which is atomic structure, we figure out isotopes and ions, we got familiar with periodic table of the elements, and we know that this number is atomic, atomic number, and this one is atomic mass, but there is one more our notorious electron configuration formula, which we are planning to tackle down 
but this kind of animal we're gonna tame down in the separate video so we'll see you soon